Hey, hello everyone. Um, sorry if it's a little bit noisy. I uh, wanted to make a test today. So the car has been sitting outside in the sun, indicating 64 degrees Celsius uh, in the inside before I activated the AC. So I actually just uh, drove the car inside the garage and plugged it in. And as you can see, I mean, now running the AC uh, at almost max, I mean, 18.5 degrees C. I mean, inside the car, it's still, um, still 26 degrees, 25 degrees inside the car, so it's dropping. Um, we're actually putting five kilowatts from the plug between 19 and 20 amps. So uh, that's actually the, the power that is drawn uh, when the uh, AC compressor is basically working at max power. The ventilation is at the max power. Um, and uh, well, I mean, we, we still have some AC-DC conversion going on, uh, which is probably about 20% loss, 10% loss. So, so I think we can count on about four kilowatts at full blast, uh, which is being used. So which means that actually, if you're driving at a, an average of 100 kilometers an hour, um, you will actually be using about 40 watt hour per kilometer in addition to your consumption when you get the AC running at the max power. So typically the AC wouldn't run at the max power all the time, then it would probably drop and I will make a test a little bit later to see um, what power we're drawing when um, we can have averaging the temperature. So now outside it says 42 degrees, but it's not true. I mean, it's, uh, it's about 32, 33. So uh, let's see how much we draw when uh, the temperature is at uh, equilibrium. So now we're stabilized. Uh, the temperature inside the vehicle is 22 degrees. As can be seen here, it's set at 22. And we are putting seven amps at 239 volts, which is about 1.7 kilowatts. So, uh, so now uh, while it's being stabilized, I mean, this is uh, much, much better. Um, we're also running the rear ventilation so let's see what it does if we cancel it. So it looks like we're still pulling seven amps. Uh, doesn't make a big difference. I mean, we had between seven and eight uh, when we were running the rear ventilation. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's about 1.7 kilowatt, uh, which is being used. Oh, now it's down to five amps. So yeah, reducing the rear ventilation does reduce the, uh, the consumption, which I was expecting by about two amps, uh, which means the rear blower is about 500 watts, which uh, makes sense. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's uh, about 1.2 uh, kilowatt now that's being pulled. Uh, so now it, it's really interesting to see that um, if you're driving at 100 kilometers an hour, uh, having the AC running stabilized, which gives about 12 watt hour per kilometer, which is much more acceptable and uh, almost meaningless. So I hope you liked uh, the video. Um, it's um, it's interesting to see how much the AC consumes. Uh, so remember maximum about 4.5, 4.7 kilowatts at max. Uh, remember that when it's really, really warm, I think uh, when the uh, temperature is really high and um, the car is uh, really in the sun, you would get about 2.5 kilowatt uh, average to maintain the temperature. So uh, take that into account when you make your trip calculations. This is not taken into account in the better route planner, but uh, you should uh, add, I would say about 20 to 30 watt hour per kilometer uh, on, on standard roads and on, on highway, um, count between 10 to 20 uh, watt hour per kilometer in addition. Well, I hope you liked the video and uh, please uh, like, comment, subscribe uh, and happy to answer any comments down below. Thanks.